Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the different types of quantifiers and about predicates. Let us first consider some propositions. First one is all people are mortal. Second one is every computer is a 16 bit machine. Third one is no birds are black. Fourth one is some people have blue eyes. The fifth one is there exists an even prime number. In each of these propositions, we can see a word indicating the quantity such as all, every, none, some and one. That is in the first one, uh, here is uh, the term word all and second one, here is the word every. Third is no, that is no words, that is which indicates none. And uh, fourth one, we have uh, some and uh, in the last one, we can see an or one. Okay, so uh, such words are called quantifiers, which gives us an idea about how many objects have a certain property. Okay, for example, uh, uh, in this one, some people have blue eyes. So, we, we will get an idea of uh, persons having blue eyes. That is, there are some pupils with blue eyes, etc. Okay. So, such words are called quantifiers, which gives an idea about how many objects have a certain property. Such uh, words are called quantifiers. Okay. Now, there are two different types of quantifiers. One is universal quantifier and the other is existential quantifier. The universal quantifier is uh, all, okay, uh, which is denoted by for every. This is actually uh, an inverted A, right, this symbol, okay. So, uh, we can read this as uh, for all or for each or for every. The second quantifier is a sum, which is called existential quantifier and it is denoted by this symbol, a backward E, okay. And uh, we, we may read this uh, symbol as uh, for some there exists a for for at least one. Okay, we can uh, uh, read this symbol as for some for there exists a uh, or for at least one. Okay, uh, note that uh, the word some means at least one. Okay, some and the word at least one. Okay, so we have uh, two different quantifiers one first one is universal quantifier that quantifier that is all okay and it is denoted by this symbol uh, it is called for all for each or for every and the second one is existential quantifier it is sum and it is denoted by this symbol and uh, it can be read as for some uh, the exists there exists a or for all for at least one okay now we can discuss some examples which will demonstrate how to write the quantified propositions symbolically. Okay. First one is let X be any apple. X be any apple. Consider the sentence all apples are green. All apples are green. This sentence can be written as for every X, X is green. We can write this sentence as for every x, x is green. We already suppose that x is any apple. Okay. Let x be any apple. Then uh, this sentence all apples are green can be written as for every x, x is green. Okay. Using universal quantifier this, we can symbolically represent this sentence as for every x, x is green. We can represent symbolically this sentence as for every x, x is green. Or we can represent this uh, symbolically in another way, uh, which is for every x, p of x. Where p of x is x is green. Okay, P of x is the statement x is green, then uh, this will represent this, that is for every x P of x where P of x is uh, x is green. 
ഓക്കെ സോ ഈ ഒരു സെൻറ്റൻസിനെ നമുക്ക് ഇങ്ങനെ എഴുതാൻ പറ്റും ഓക്കെ ഫോർ എവറി എക്സ് എക്സ് ഇസ് ഗ്രീൻ ഇഫ് എക്സ് എക്സ് ഇസ് എനി ആപ്പിൾ ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് സിംബോളിക്കലി വി ക്യാൻ റൈറ്റ് ദിസ് സെൻറ്റൻസ് ആസ് ഫോർ എവറി എക്സ് എക്സ് ഇസ് ഗ്രീൻ ഓർ ഫോർ എവറി എക്സ് പി ഓഫ് എക്സ് വേർ പി ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇസ് എക്സ് ഇസ് ഗ്രീൻ ഓക്കെ ഹിയർ എക്സ് ഇസ് എ ഡമ്മി വേരിയബിൾ this x is a dummy variable that means we can uh, 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 assign uh, different values for x okay so in this uh, example p of x is called predicate p of x is called predicate okay uh, this p of x states the property Uh, the object x has that is uh, uh, u of x the predicate will state the property of uh, x okay uh, in the uh, above example uh, p of x is x is green so here the property is that property of x is that we know x is any apple the property is that uh, it is a green apple okay so the predicate uh, is a sentence which states the property the object x has okay here p of x is called the predicate which uh, states the property the object x has okay so we discussed two terminologies one is quantifiers and the other is predicate so the quantifier uh, is indicating quantity okay and uh, the predicate is uh, indicates the property of the object okay now here the predicate p of x is having only one variable since this p of x is having only one variable it is called unary predicate unary predicate okay that is a unary predicate is a predicate uh, having only one variable okay next uh, universe of discourse universe of discourse okay that is the set of all values that x can has assign okay in on uh, the predicate that is uh, universe of discourse is the set of set of all values that x can assign okay so the universe of discourse is the set of all values that x can assign in a predicate p of x okay now uh, uh, we know uh, this in, in in the predicate p of x this variable x is a free variable that means we can assign uh, a, 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 the a values for uh, x any value for x okay so Uh, uh now what we can dis discuss about the truth value of this p of x this is actually p of x is not a, a proposition because sometimes it, it will be true and uh, sometimes it will be false okay so it is not a, a proposition it is only an expression okay so uh, but it can be uh, transformed into uh, a proposition by uh, assigning suitable values for x okay so by assigning suitable values for x this uh, expression can be converted into a proposition right now uh, what about the uh, truth value of this p of x it, it may be since, since uh, x is a free variable uh, the values value of x can vary so as the value of x varies uh, the, the truth value of p of x can vary okay since uh, value of x uh, varies over the universe of discourse this is a, we can write this as universe of discourse uh, since the values of x uh, varies over the universe of discourse the truth value of truth value of p of x can vary now we can discuss another example rewrite the sentence symbolically some chalk boards are black some chalk boards are black so here we have to rewrite this sentence symbolically okay so here what we can choose uh, universe of discourse here we need to uh, 
write symbolically the sentence some chalkboards are blank so we are taking uh, or considering the universe of discourse as set of all chalkboards set of all chalkboards okay now uh, what what will be x let x be uh, here actually uh, some chalk uh, our sentence is some some chalkboards are blank okay so let x be an arbitrary chalkboard arbitrary chalkboard so this sentence some chalkboards are black can be rewritten as there exists an x such that x is black okay therefore uh, the given sentence can be written as there exists an x x such that x is black that means here we uh, suppose that x x is uh, an arbitrary chalkboard and so uh, this sentence can be written as there exists an x such that that x is black okay so now you uh, how can we represent this symbolically okay so we fire this okay so using this existential quantifier we can write uh, this sentence as there exists x a of x where a of x is the expression x is black a of x is the expression x is black that is there exists x a of x that is where a of x is the expression which is x is black so uh, there exists an x such that x is black clear so we can represent our uh, uh, given sentence as the x is x a of x where a of x is uh, the expression x is black okay